This is the last section of Module 2, Getting Started, and before we leave this module, I wanted to take a moment and talk to you a little bit about how to convert your QuickBooks desktop data to the online version. You may decide at some point you need to access your QuickBooks file remotely, and that might be a reason for going with the online version. It's a pretty simple process to do, so let me show you how this works. Make sure you have your QuickBooks desktop file open. It doesn't matter which window you happen to be looking at. All you have to do is go up to File on your menu, come down to Utilities, Copy Company File for QuickBooks Online. It's going to tell you that before it can export your data, it has to close all of the windows. It will ask you if you want to continue. You just click OK there, and now you're going to save this. You decide where you'd like to save it. You just hit Save at the bottom, and then it's going to convert your data for you. Now what you have to do is go ahead and set up your subscription online, and once you get it set up, in there you can go in and you can actually import this particular file. So you can see that it's a super simple process to do. If you decide that you don't like the online version once you start working with it, you can't go the other way. You can't download it back to your desktop version. You would get in touch with Intuit at that point, and then they would go in and back up your file for you, and they would help you actually put it back into your desktop version. That's going to wrap up Module 2, which was Getting Started Module. I want to take you now over to Module 3, where we're going to talk a lot about different ways to customize the QuickBooks environment. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to get a free QuickBooks Pro 2020 introductory course, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this QuickBooks Pro 2020 playlist.